Now to put this valve on. The other valve was facing up. Okay, now I know the pipe is going that way. I could have it facing up because I've got the flexi line. You know, my new flexi line could go like that and over. Or I could, I could arrange this at an angle like that. And then the, the flexi line could be coming like that. You know what I mean? I could have it straight up and down. I can go like that. However I want. All right? Let's do it. Okay, now to put that on, there's a couple different ways. I could put that on like that first. And then the new ferrule, you know? Then I can push that up there and screw it on. Another way you can do it is just, just take the whole thing if you want. You can have it screwed on, you know, loose. You can take that and you can push that on. The main thing you want is to make sure you hit bottom. You want that tight on there. Last thing you want is to just barely push it on, think you got it on far enough. You tighten up that ferrule and you're right on the tip of the pipe or something like that. You want to make sure you're pushed on all the way. Okay? And then you tighten it up just the same way that I that I took it off. And the theory has it that when you tighten it up, that ferrule is gonna is gonna clamp right down tight on that pipe. But I always like to put my Teflon tape on these threads. You know, on this thread here. It doesn't hurt. It only takes me a minute to put Teflon tape on there. That's just my insurance policy. Now, should I have to do that? No, I shouldn't. But every once in a while, you, you put something on here like this, and maybe the first two or three times you do it, you don't have a problem. And then all of a sudden, the next time you do it, you got a leak. And you think, oh, I'll just tighten it up a little bit. And you tighten it up, and it's still dripping. Then you got to pull it apart. And then put Teflon tape in there and son of a gun, it works. You know? So I'm going to put some Teflon tape on there. Do you remember how to do that? So I put the nut back on loosely with the ferrule inside, the Teflon tape on the outside. Okay? You can just wedge it on there. Got to remember, you know, you don't want to get carried away and just have it on there and start tightening. Okay, and now your outlet's down low instead of up. You know what I mean? Could be easy. Easy to be done, I could think. Okay, I've got it pushed on all the way, and I'm going to tighten it up by hand a little bit first. Now it's still moving because I've got to do it with a wrench, okay? That's about a good angle. I got it off centered a little bit. It doesn't need to go perfectly straight up and down. It could be at a slight angle, no problem. Now here's the key. When you get ready to tighten this up, you've got to hang on to this and tighten this in the back and try to keep pressure on the front so that it's going back. Last thing you want is to kind of put it on here and without knowing it, you're pulling it forward as you're tightening it or something. Because I want that on that pipe as far back as it can go. And I'm having a slightly difficult time getting in here and keeping my arms out of my way, out of your way. So bear with me if I get in your way. Okay, I'm gonna try to hang on to this maybe with that first. And I've got to remember, you know, I've got to go up with that one. Remember last time I went the other way? Oh, you got to do just the opposite now. And keep working at it. 
I might get my channel locks. I might be able to reach my channel locks in here and do it a little bit better. I don't know if you can see that any better. I grab my channel locks here and then put the wrench on here. And the top one, I had to go up in the bottom. I'm just holding it so it goes up against the wall. You know? I did it a few different turns, but there you go. Got it at the angle. Here's my valve. Not quite sure which way is off and which way is on just yet. I've got my scutcheon trim on there. I've got that all ready.